McGing. Rule. Up the line. Melisevic. Trying to turn. Finds Rule. Stabs one at the goalkeeper. Taken safely by Axford. It's caught between a cross and a shot on that occasion. United starting to press higher. Trying to squeeze St. George FC. Melisevic again. Trying to get beyond his man, Sito. Good defending. Can't quite keep it in. It'll be a throw. Tomelic, nice turn. Quilligan, Grozos, couldn't keep it. Rule. The Slitzer. Now it's Matthew Hatch. McGing, long ball forward, looking for Antelmi. Does well to force the throw in. Antelmi versus Danascos. Good duel, that one. Nakamura gets through both defenders. De Oliveira. Now Hatch. Getting in on his preferred left. A heavy touch, though. And it goes behind. Be a goal kick. Scored a cracker off that left foot about 20 minutes ago. Set the crowd alight, even though the home side very much. The George FC, everyone applauded that goal. Quilligan. Danascos release, the captain, heading towards the box. That's a rash challenge by McGing. And he's going into the book. Yellow card, first of the night's. On the Sydney United 58 defender. St. George would love a goal straight after half time. Peter Grozos hasn't scored a goal yet this season. They've only got three goals so far. Looking to see if they can add one more. Grozos bends it to the back post. Pushed away and great defending off the line by Adrian Vaslitsa. How many times have we seen that over the years? Hatch in transition. Sliding effort to keep United at bay. That asks us. Wins it, then asks us. Rule. Last touch off Skataric. Rule sets off. And tell me, beyond the center circle, here comes Hatch. De Oliveira joins in, and tell me, couldn't get in front of De Godoy. The crispness of that passing for United starting to pick up. Hatch, advantage played. Nakamura.
Rule. So George FC sitting deeper in this second half. Maya. Rule. Header on and wins a free kick. Number three on number three. Set piece for Sydney United 58 incoming. Elisevich played in the Junior Academy for Borussia Dortmund, so plenty of talent. Melisevich, what can he whip in? Towards the back post, pushed away by Axford. How didn't that go in? Back behind the line, it'll be another corner. Hatch wanted to go short, but the referee stopping play just to set some ground rules in and around the box. Hatch with a left-footed in-swinger. Decides short instead for Maya. Elisevich, Hatch bending it to the back post. Up comes Axford. Negating the threat. Axford. Castle Hill United Jr. Born and bred in Kellyville. Played for Interlions as well. Now applying his trade with St. George FC. Grozos. Almost got himself into trouble. He's given free reign. He can go pretty much where he likes. Pops up everywhere. Peter Grozos. Sito. Now Grozos again. The left footer. Danaskos. One touch for Quilligan. Ball knocked behind. It'll be a corner. Good crowd in this evening. Bring them to their feet if they can jag one back here. Grossos to deliver. It's got Suras as a near post option. So it's to go towards the back post. Headed down and cleared away by Nakamura. Sito. Digodoy. Going to jag in Skataric. O'Shea. Sito finds Danaskos. Rodic. Digodoy being pressed now. De Oliveira. Rule. And tell me, complaining for a push in the back, didn't come. Soris. Digodoy. Nice accuracy with the Nascos pass. Quilligan. Danaskos. Coming up against Rule. 
St George, their best run of possession they've experienced for a while. Quilligan loops it over the top. No movement on the interchange benches just yet. As we approach the hour mark, still two goals to nil. Patrick Antelmi, goal in the 17th minute. Matthew Hatch in the 32nd. Calagero in the long sleeves. George FC just looking for one to get them back in the game. Next week, St George Saints home to Arpia. So another big club to contend with next week. City United 58 will take on the Sutherland Sharks at home. Sharks starting to play better football, but they'll be the favourites in that one. Will United, especially if they can get the win here. Get them back into the top six. There are games tomorrow in NPL round six. Match of the round, Rockdale taking on Blacktown City. That'll be at 3 p.m. Then Arpia and Sydney Olympic to round out round six. Big double header, men's and women's tomorrow. Arpia and Sydney Olympic playing in both men's and women's. It's been an exciting start. Wimpiel, women's first grade. Gladesville Ravens especially. Sito, return back to the action for Danascos. Trying to drive his way through Bailey Rule. Suris. Tried to get a 1-2 going, but didn't eventuate. In transition, United, too heavy with the touch. Danascos. Quilligan wide. Puts one into the box. Down goes Kataric, but the contact was okay. Kalach rolls out. Skataric winning the ball. Has a crack, and it's through to the fences. Of Kalach, they have got one back. Nicolas Kataric has looked dangerous in that number nine role. Cutting inside, firing one away under the goalkeeper. And the home side are back in business. going to be an exciting next half an hour. We've already got three goals in the game. Could we see a few more? The home side. Sito. Nakamura trying to seize on that ball. Danascos. Sito. Tanasko shaped to chip it inside. Play short though to Grozos. FC finally put it back in the box. The header clearance not convincing. Sydney 9 and 58 looking to make a change at the next stoppage. Kataric, the goal scorer. Tried to thread the needle for Quilligan. Oh. 
Danaskos. Quilligan puts it into the middle. De Oliveira. Pinball in midfield. Melisevic. De Oliveira wins the free kick, and it's going to be a yellow card for Jaden Sito. And here comes the substitution. Patrick Antelmi coming from the field, replaced by Alessandro Lacaladra. Very good last week, Lacaladra. One of the big guns being removed for Sydney United 58. Maya in good space. Like Alandra, his first involvement. Looking to square it up at the byline. Just ran over it. He could have had a goal with his first kick of the game. Throw going the way of Sydney United 58. Twenty five minutes from home. Two one. Sydney United fifty eight lead. Nice ball played over the top. Rule. Plays Nakamura. Wanted it back. Tried to slide one through the legs. Danaskos. Quilligan. Referee had to jump over that one. Grozos. He's fouled. Peter Grozos, a real key. For the Saints. The Oliveira spotted the goalkeeper coming out and turning his back. Didn't have it on target. We saw that beauty from Melbourne City against Western Sydney Warriors during the week. Terry Antonis from his side of halfway. An absolute bomb. They got away. Rodic, his ball snuffed out. Maya. Milicevic. Through ball, like Alandro on side, looking up. Where's his support? Squares it up and tucked away. Supremely finished. De Oliveira is claiming it. And Sydney United 58 have their third. Really good lead up work. Like Alandro, since he's come on. Really provided a difference. So just as St George FC were getting back in the game. Yellow card 
into the book. So now, higher mountain to climb for St. George FC. Danascos, his cross was deflected. Quilligan hangs it up. Header couldn't quite get on target. So 3-1, four goals tonight. Definitely an entertaining game. Two goals in the first half for Sydney United 58. They took a 2-0 lead. Now a goal apiece in the second half. Rule. Milicevic. Cutting inside, Milicevic. Maya. Now Hatch. Vastelitsa. Hatch again. Dikadoy negotiates that one. George FC looking to go to the bench for the first time. Nakamura couldn't reel that one in. Nice touch from Danaskos. Quilligan. Skataric. Tried to curl that around, but didn't make the right connection. We will get that substitution. On comes Aiden O'Shea for Connor Quilligan. Aiden O'Shea, as we mentioned, got that equaliser in the St. George Derby to earn his side of points. He'll need to contribute a bit more than that tonight if he's going to get them out of trouble. Kalats. Ball falls for De Oliveira. He's got Hatch overlapping, making a run. De Oliveira assessing his options, uses Hatch. Fires pushed away by Axford. McGing. That's Litzer. Along the carpet. So the next three for these two sides. Sydney United 58. We mentioned the Sharks at home. Blacktown City away. Here comes Nakamura. Coming towards the box. Plays it inside for the Oliveira. And just a numbers game. Too good. Rodic. Almost got himself in a spot of bother. A yellow card for Matty Hatch. There it is. The next three, St. George Saints have Arpy at home. Western Sydney Wanderers away. And the North West Sydney Spirit away. So they've got two teams in and around that top six. And then Spirit to come. Sydney United 58, Sutherland at home as we mentioned, Blacktown City away, and then Rockdale at home. So a real test the next three weeks for United. Danaskos. Throw for United. Oh, 
Danaskos. Finds Aiden O'Shea. Cross was along the carpet. Nakamura. Lakalandra gets in front. Nakamura again trying to dance around the defenders. Sito shadowing it behind. Digodoy goes long. Danaskos with the header. Skataric wants to be first there. Nakamura. Laslitsa. The Oliveira has been really good tonight. Long ball forward. Bailey Rule trying to get goal side. He's done well, sliding it back into the box. Rodic cleans up. Melisevic. Lakalandra. Tomelic saw Hatch wanted to switch. Wants a diagonal ball. He's got his arms up. Not answering the call. Tomelic. Nice ball along the ground. Melisevic. First time cross. Diving out. Axford does well. Danaskos looking up. Plays a ball through for Skataric. O'Shea joins in. Skataric at the edge of the box. Trying to use his large frame. O'Shea backs up his cracker last week. He's got another one. 3-2. The Saints are marching back into it. Skataric, the central threats. They thought they'd done enough with him. And then Aiden O'Shea, the super sub, comes on and makes a difference. So just when you think Sydney United 58 are getting ahead of the game, with 15 minutes remaining, there's only a goal in it. 3-2. Skatanic coming back on. He's struggled. An early knock. He's been really good for St. George FC tonight. McGing. Not his best pass tonight. Lakalandra. One-on-one -on -one with Digodoy. Nice move by Lakalandra. Arguing for a free kick. Ends up winning the corner anyway.
3-2, 13 minutes remaining. Matthew Hatch, no short corner option. Bends it near post, glanced on. Goes behind everybody, eventually crosses the line. So it'll be a goal kick. Sito. Calajero. O'Shea. Rodic. There's, all, there's a bit more flair about the Saints. These last couple of weeks, first few weeks while they were finding their feet. Understand they're being a little bit tentative. Are they really trying to take the game to Sydney United 58? Nice turn from Soris. O'Shea. Danascos. Soris tees up. He's captain. The cross in. Trying to keep it from going behind. And eventually McGing makes sure of it. It'll be a throw here. Waiting on Jesse Spang. The substitution ignored. Danascos, O'Shea, most recent goal scorer. Pinball in the box. Gataric tried to find it. Up the line, Lacalandra is so quick. Trying to get beyond Sito. Lacalandra, dispossessed by Sito. Good defending. Danascos. Kalats. O'Shea. He's picked out some really good passes tonight. St. George FC hunting another. Awaiting the arrival of Jesse Spang at the next stoppage. Rodic. Calajero. The Saints knocking it around. Sito this time. Danascos. Trying to move the United defence around. Digodoy. Danascos. Whips one in. Header. First touch was off St. George FC. It goes meekly behind for a goal kick. Substitution. Skataric comes off. Finally succumbs to those niggles. On comes Jesse Spang. Nine minutes remaining. 3-2. Nakamura. Being treated by the physio. Only a quick session, that one. He's hobbling back into midfield. Bailey Rule.
Zervas comes onto the field. As does Dejan Baka Daninokoski. They're looking to shore up their defense. Tarek Maya and Nakamura coming off. Oh, Nabaka, Dani Koski, and also Zervas. It's not much of Zervas. Very good in tight pockets. O'Shea wins that second ball. O'Shea, ball on side. Jesse Spang just a little bit heavy for him. Pat and Aiden O'Shea, the O'Shea brothers. Trying to link up. Knock in the backyard. Sito wins a header. O'Shea almost found Spang. That goal's giving him a lot of confidence. Now tug of the jersey. No yellow card this time, but a warning. One goal here from Sydney United, 58, could kill off the game. Suris, former Sutherland Sharks development player. Rodic. Starting that attack up the right side. Grozos. Puts one into the mixer. Knocked away. That's a strong challenge from O'Shea. Could be in trouble. All right, referee waves it off. Zervas gets to his feet. Recapping the winners from today, Marconi victorious over Sutherland. Manly in Central Coast splitting the points. St George City over Northwest Sydney Spirit 2-1. It's 3-2 with five minutes remaining in normal time. Could the home team equalise late as they did last week against St George City? Rodic again. Calagero is discussing with the referee. Digo Doi. Danascos, that's where a lot of the attack generates from. Pat O'Shea. Grozos. Now Sito. Aiden O'Shea at the byline. Puts a dangerous ball in. There were three Saints there and no one could put it away. How pivotal is that chance going to be? Substitution, Anthony Morabito coming on. Peter Grozos going off. Good shift from him.
Nakamura pushing the back. Was left alone from the referee. But De Oliveira getting fired up, and now it's a push and shove. Players getting involved. Just getting a little fiery. We're in the business minutes of this game. Sydney United 58. A very similar scuffle in round one against the Central Coast Mariners. It's a fiery coach's box down there for City United 58. Sito. How will these last few minutes play out? Can the home side jag an equaliser? Or will the visitors kill off the game? Suris. Aiden O'Shea. Danascos. Zervas. Winning that challenge. Zervas heading up the field. O'Shea coming in. Oh, nutmeg. Zervas showing great skills. Nakamura couldn't find Servas on the return. In transition again, it'll be St. George's turn. Danascos, very nice ball for Jesse Spang. One of his first involvements. Danascos chips it. Couldn't quite find the head of his attacker. But offside anyway. They've had some good looks the last few minutes. St. George FC. It's been a very well contested game. You fought in the first half when Sydney United 58 scored the first two goals in the half. They might run away with it. But it's been the home side actually. Second half who were leading 2-1. But on the scoreboard, they trail 3-2. Got a tip from the fourth official. It'll be four injury time minutes. Digodoy, the diagonal ball. Couldn't find Danascos. Zervas. Looking for Lacalandra. Trying to get in front of Cito. And it will be a new United throw. And we kick off the four additional minutes. Holding it up towards a corner flag. Sydney United 58 think three goals will be enough. It is at the moment. Really nice control. Rule. Tom Elic. Estelitza. Now Matty Hatch. Up the line. Nakamura. United will win the throw. Look at to hold it up at the corner flag, of course. La Slitzer. Puts it out of play. They'll try and go quickly, the Saints. Sito. Now Danascos. Tried the pass. Couldn't get past Rule. Suris. The defenders will have to come forward. Rodic. Kalajero. Trying to put it into the middle. But that was blocked. 
The long throw on the cards, Calagero. Digodoy. Now Sito. They won't have a lot of opportunities left. St. George, so they'll have to make this one count. Bailey Rule knocks it out of play. The ball comes back quickly. Danascos. That's an inviting ball. Leg off Spang. De Oliveira. Heading towards the touchline. Nakamura. Her attacker's on the right. Didn't use him. Rodic, they have to get the ball up the ground quickly. Ball launched into the box. Hit it away. And then forward again. Was that a foul? Referee happy with the contact. Danger averted for Sydney United 58. Oliver Kalat's taking his time with this one. The clock is the friend of Sydney United 58. Kalat. Over the touchline. So I'll go again. St. George FC. Long throw. A slits up. Make sure of it. De Oliveira has been one of the best on ground. Shadowing the ball along the touchline. And that is full time here at the Illidan Sports Centre. A big three points gained by Sydney United 58. At full time, the Reds have defeated the Saints. Final score, St. George Saints 2, Sydney United 58, 3. Dominant first half from Sydney United 58. A late scare a couple of times from St. George FC. But it is the heavyweights who move into sixth position with that win. And with every performance... Look like they're getting stronger and heading back towards the top of that ladder. For St. George FC, another promising effort against a big club, really showing their might in this league. Not their night tonight, but they'll be back to play again next week. For Sydney 1958, it's the Sharks at home. A trip to Arpia awaits the St. George Saints. Full time here in NPL New South Wales Men's First Grade. St. George Saints 2 have been defeated by Sydney United 58-3. I'm Tony Slono. From everyone here at Football New South Wales, it's bye for now.